Thank you, JC. We know eating healthy can be a struggle yes. pretty much all year, but especially around the holidays. So we wanted to bring in Caroline Durr from UK Extension to give us some healthy swaps that can help us from overindulging. So thank you for coming on today. Yes, of course. So first, let's start with, uh, is there anything that we can do easily just to swap out to instantly make things just a little bit healthier. Yes, so there's a lot of different simple swaps that you can okay. make during the holidays because we all still want to enjoy our favorite yeah. savory dishes. <laughs> so I like to encourage people to first off still make half of their holiday plate fruits and vegetables. So you can see here we've got a festive looking kale and cranberry salad. Okay. So when you fill up on foods like this, it's still got a lot of great nutrients and it tastes great. So we've got kale, cranberries for a little sweetness, um, and the dressing is simply olive oil and lemon juice. So very light. Yeah, I was going to ask you if you have any tips for salad dressings. I think that's where a lot of the hidden calories are, right? It and is. Fat. Yes, and those creamier dressings usually are hidden with a lot okay. of fat and calories. So using light vinaigrettes can be a great way to reduce okay. your calories and still have a great tasting salad. Okay, that looks good. Um, what do we have here for beverages? I know we can yes. drink our calories and that really adds up. Oh, what is this? It looks very festive. Good yes, for a party. <laughs> it does. It does. And so a lot of us drink our calories without realizing it. And I would rather okay. enjoy my calories through those great dishes that everyone's brought Me to too. enjoy. Yes. So this here is just water with lime and cranberries. It looks great, very festive for the holidays. Um, and just the flavor soaking overnight of the cranberries and lime gives it a fresh taste if you get a little tired of drinking water. Definitely lower sugar and lower calories than a lot of those beverages that sneak into our holiday parties. Okay, so you're recommending um, make this the night before a party. Yes, if you let the flavors really soak overnight in the refrigerator, you can use oranges, lemons, limes, really whatever fruit you have on hand. The water just absorbs that flavor and it gives you a fresh new taste to enjoy. I like that. Yes. And then, uh, we've got to move on to some of the sweeter things. We love that around the yes. holidays. What are some of the options you have here? And this looks great for kids as well. It's a great kids activity. So in the holidays, we know that people, we have cakes, cookies, candy, all kinds of different sweet treats to enjoy. Yeah. So one easy, simple swap I like to encourage people to try is to make fruit the base of your dessert. So you okay. can make an easy fruit crisp, um, things that are a lot lower in calories and fat and sugar. So this here would be a great activity for kids to enjoy and get involved in the holiday cooking. So we have apple nachos. So I've sliced up oh, some. Oh, I like that. Yes, <laughs> yes. So I made a little topping bar. You could use whatever toppings you have on hand. Some red and green apples to keep it festive. Mm -hmm. And I've added some shredded coconut, cranberries, some chopped walnuts. Um, and the sauce is really my favorite part of this one. So instead of that really sweet caramel sauce you see a lot mm -hmm. of times, I've done some peanut butter, Greek yogurt, and honey as a topping. Oh, and do you just mix that? I up? did. Okay. And you can let the kids put it in a sandwich bag and snip the end, and we had a little icing party. Oh, so. that is cool. That's yes. always fun to yes. do, the icing. Um, I have to ask you about some of the tricks we try to use for saving calories. Is it a good idea to skip meals to prepare for our holiday meal? What's your advice there? Definitely not. A lot of times we'll hold off on eating because we're waiting for that big meal, but then we tend to overeat eat at our meal. So if you start, drink a lot of water throughout the day that helps you realize when you're actually hungry. And like I said, have some healthy things to start with. Fruit trays can be great with a little yogurt and cinnamon dip. You can do vegetable dips um, just with some guacamole, some hummus. So start off with those healthier, lighter foods, and you can really still enjoy some of your favorite dishes. I really like what you topped the apples with. What was that again? It was peanut butter, Greek yeah. yogurt, and honey, right? A little bit of honey for some okay. sweetness, yeah. And it's a lot lower in sugar than those traditional sauces that you'll see. I'm going to have to try that for yes. some uh, snacks here at work. It's <laughs> well, delicious. We appreciate you <laughs> coming in, Caroline. Important tips here. Where can people go online for some more resources? on healthy holiday foods. So you can check out your local extension office and the website is ca.uky.edu and find your local county office. All right, thanks again for coming thank in you. and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, thank you. Stay with us here on Good Day Kentucky. Up after the break, we have Ruth Hunt Candies here to help you find the perfect gift for a special someone. But first, here's your savvy shopper.